shakalaka. He's on fire. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the experiment video. Today's experiment, move insoles. For those of you who are not aware of what move insole is, well, it's a company that's co-founded by superstar NBA point guard for the Portland Trailblazers, Damian Lillard. And it's also co-signed by a lot of professional basketball players like Chris Paul and many others. So with that being said, this video is not sponsored. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion that is not skewed. There's two types of insoles. One's regular game day, which I assume is for casual wear. Obviously you could put this in a performance basketball sneaker as well. And then there's the game day pro insole, which has some type of TPU plate in there for more stability. Now that I laid everything out, I need to figure out what sneakers to put these insoles in. I've decided that it would be pointless for me to put a performance insole into an already high performing basketball sneaker like an Air Jordan 36, 35, 34, anything that is $170 or higher, it's probably gonna be a good performing sneaker. So for the sake of the video and for the sake of testing out the insole, I'm gonna put the insole into a maybe older Air Jordan retro model or even a older Nike performance basketball sneaker just because back then the technology wasn't as good as it is today. I'm gonna be putting the, the Game Day Pro Inso into these KDs and I'm gonna be playing in them tomorrow. Got a three on three tournament. Hopefully I get some highlights. I'll give you my full review on the insoles afterwards and whether or not it is worth the investment. Let's get right to the action. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the three on three highlights. My body is saying, I'm sore. If anyone out there has ever participated in a one day tournament, you already know that is very taxing on the body. But disregard all that, we're here for the review of the move insoles. So I wore the regular game day insoles to the gym. Fantastic, great. But I really wanted to put the pros to the test. So we're gonna break it down. So the pro insoles performed excellent on the KD6s. However, I made a huge mistake by not considering the upper. My heel and the bottom of my foot, it was well supported. However, the upper was not the best upper to play basketball in. I will say every time I was taking steps or making cuts, this upper was digging into my forefoot, which kind of caused me a little pain. I like to tie my sneakers really tight when I, whenever I'm playing basketball. I probably should have hooped in a better performing sneaker, but it, it was for the sake of the video, right? It's, it was just to test these out. I guess the final verdict is, is it worth 60 bucks? 
I think so. If you're a professional basketball player, you're probably playing in a performance insole. You're not hooping in generic insoles that came with the shoes or an insole that you bought at Foot Locker. I hope not, at least. This is the generic KD6 insole, super thin, and this is the Jason Marks, I guess this is one of those like casual insoles that you can slip in. I think it's like maybe 10 bucks. And then this is probably more of the high-end Jason Mark insoles. Has a little bit more cushioning on the heels, but not as much as the move insoles. You probably also think I could go to my local CVS or Dwayne Reed or just any local pharmacy and get like a Dr. Scholl's insole for 15 bucks and it'll do the same job. I've had those in the past and I'm not really a fan of that uh, that gel that they use because it's kind of like stepping on a waterbed where it feels mushy. Whereas the move insole, it's a lot more firm, more padded, more stability. And that's the type of uh, feel that I like when I'm playing basketball or even walking in general. I'll give you guys a perfect example. If you ever get the chance to sit courtside at an NBA game, most likely you're never gonna wanna sit anywhere else. Whether it's the 100 level or 200 level, you just don't wanna go back there. So I feel the same way about these insoles. Once I hooped in these, I feel like I can never go back to a generic insole. Again, video's not sponsored, but I do believe that these are great products to invest in. 100 wears divided by 60, that's 60 cents per wear. I think it's worth it. With the amount of wear and tear the game of basketball does on your body, you have to take care of your feet. Your, your whole body's connected. So if you're having foot problems, it's probably gonna linger all the way up to your back. And then that's gonna be another issue. So prevent injuries, get the right support, and that's it. Hopefully the video provided some clarity on these insoles and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.